Current batteries in electric vehicles and electronic devices represent a large proportion of the overall weight of the machine and a significant drain on energy efficiency. But what if you didn't need to bolt the batteries to any part of the device's body at all, and instead the bodywork itself provided all the energy the machine needed? This breakthrough is exactly what scientists and engineers at Chalmers University in Sweden have developed a new type of battery that can act as both an energy source and as part of the structure of the device. Structural batteries, also known as massless energy storage, aim to significantly reduce the weight of battery-powered vehicles and other devices by incorporating batteries into the structure of the object. By doing so, the need for separate batteries is reduced or potentially even eliminated, which could result in significantly increased efficiency. Initially, this type of battery could be used in smaller devices such as smartphones, laptops or electric bicycles that weigh half as much as today and are much more compact. However, in the long term, those involved in the project aim for it to also be used in electric vehicles, aircraft and even satellites products which would significantly benefit from weight reduction and efficiency gains. A lighter electric car, for example, will require less energy to drive, and lower energy density also results in increased safety. The battery contains a lithium-iron phosphate coated aluminium foil as the positive electrode, and carbon fibres that serve as both the negative electrode and a conductor, as well as being part of the load-bearing structural material at the same time. This negates the need for the other materials such as copper and silver conductors and therefore reduces the overall weight of the battery as well as being extremely strong. The two electrode materials are kept separated by a fiberglass fabric in a structural electrolyte matrix. Companies like Tesla have already revealed it will be adopting such technology to power its future electric cars, having a battery pack that acts as a structural body linking the front and rear underbody parts of the car. This new design reduces the number of parts, the total mass of the battery pack, and therefore enables Tesla to improve efficiency and ultimately the range of its electric vehicles, something that would certainly benefit the future of all electric vehicles and therefore the environment. Current lithium-ion batteries rely on two key metals, cobalt and nickel. Not only do these have a negative impact on the people who mine them, but also on the environment. Cobalt in particular is a big problem, as it's almost exclusively mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where its toxic dust affects the health of miners, often child labourers and local communities. A new project funded by the Swedish Space Agency is already underway to increase the performance of the structural battery even further. They plan to replace the aluminium foil with carbon fibre as the load-bearing material in the positive electrode. The glass fibre separator will be replaced by an ultra-thin variant which will allow a significantly greater effect, which should also mean faster charging cycles. Other exciting advances that could work in tandem with this structural battery design is IBM's latest development of a new type of battery free from cobalt, nickel and other heavy metals, avoiding the environmental and humanitarian issues linked to lithium-ion technology. The new battery still uses lithium, but because it's generated from seawater rather than mined, there is little impact on the environment. IBM Research, the innovation arm of the tech company IBM, have also proved that this battery outperforms lithium-ion versions, therefore having the potential to greatly improve electric vehicles and energy storage. When optimised for performance, the battery has a higher power density than lithium-ion, which would mean smaller batteries that would revolutionise technology like electric aircraft. Additionally, it takes only 5 minutes to reach an 80% charge, which is significantly faster than current charging times. The battery is also low cost due to the method of sourcing materials and has low flammability, making it safer to use. Although IBM Research's battery is currently still in an early stage of development, the organisation hopes to one day soon bring the product to market.